think what it's, it's important when talking about orthotics is that we separate this need for there to be a foot-related problem or condition or pain with the benefit that orthotics are going to bring. Really, the communication needs to be about how important the feet and the foundation of the body are and how the body moves biomechanically, how it affects the knees and the hips and the low back and the, and the stress and strain it puts on joints. So when we look at the feet, it's important that we compare them to the optimal result. The optimal result gives us a couple of talking points. It gives us a chance to discuss that the foot is made up of three arches, not solely one. But it also gives us a chance to discuss that there is symmetry, there's balance. The left foot and the right foot look like each other. So often we'll find that there is arch loss. Uh, you'll see red in the area of the plantar vault where there shouldn't be any red. You'll notice that the left foot and the right foot look different. When reading the report of findings, um, let's take a moment to understand where a lot of the information is coming from. Uh, the pronation stability index score is a result of how much arch loss is present in both feet combined. It represents low points on the foot, contact with the glass, and essentially the, uh, the arch loss that's found in the plantar vault area. When we think about our pronation stability index, we want to look at four distinct categories. Optimal, mild, moderate, and severe. Our goal is optimal, but oftentimes patients will fall in the other three categories. A good indication of a mild scoring is when generally of those three arches, we see collapse in the lateral arch. Oftentimes in the moderate, we'll find that two have collapsed, lateral and transverse. And finally in the severe category, all three arches have fallen. But regardless of their score, when we insert custom orthotics into their care, their feet will now perform like the optimal. Another data point is our arch height measurements. This is an indication of the collective amount of arch height present in both feet. All we're looking for is even bars. If we see imbalances in the bar heights, then that suggests that our arches are not the same height and orthotics are gonna help correct that. And our final piece is our left versus right balance differential. And for me, this is the most valuable bit of information on the report of findings. It's a clear indication of how foot pronation affects the entire body. We're gonna display to you a difference between any amount of arch loss and pressure on the left foot versus the right foot. For me, it's really about the effect that asymmetry creates on the body, the imbalances it presents in the knees, the imbalances it presents in the low back and the hips. But most importantly, how orthotics are gonna help, how orthotics are gonna add symmetry that's lacking on its own. We're gonna take all of this information that you provided us and we're going to um, utilize our 16 individual measurements of, of the foot to create a custom-designed orthotic to provide the balance and symmetry that's lacking naturally.